Hello everyone, Julie is here, I'm very glad to see you today guys. Today we will be drawing this beautiful cup of coffee with croissant and strawberries. And I was meeting you guys, so I'm so excited. And I'm inviting you today to my home for a cup of coffee with croissant and strawberry. So, what you will learn today, guys? Today we will be drawing with soft pastels. And I'm using Rembrandt soft pastels. And um, also I'm using Stabila pastel pencils, Strasmore paper, but you can use color pencils, you can use oil pastels, whatever you have at home, you can use any craft paper. And I will be showing you some tips today how to create this beautiful drawing within 40-45 minutes. So I'm giving you time to prepare your materials, relax, turn on your beautiful uh, lovely music and we will be drawing so what you will learn today today you will learn how to draw this beautiful picture uh, with soft pastels or color pencils and I will show you some tips how to draw highlights reflections how to draw shadows and how to create a beautiful picture without going into much details and by the end of this live stream you will get this beautiful picture which you would be able just to frame and decorate your space or maybe you will decide to make a present to your friends so let's start and i hope you are ready let me know if you are ready and prepare your pencils and soft pastels paper let me know if you are ready and i will switch my camera now so we will begin and i hope you will enjoy this drawing and don't forget to share your beautiful artworks with me after this live stream like and subscribe my youtube channel to support me so i'm so great and so excited so here we go I will start drawing now, so if you are ready, let me know. Um, so, I'm using a smaller, uh, a, um, a smaller A2, uh, not A2, A3 format. If you are using a bigger um, A4 or A3 format, then go bigger. For me, I'm just uh, using a smaller one just to be a little bit quick and fast and to show you as much details as possible. So actually, we are starting today with the composition. I'm looking f into details what I'm having now prepared for you. So we start with composition and divide our piece of paper actually like on two parts and draw a line here. This is just a tip. We are uh, working with composition right now. We have actually three objects here. The biggest one will be our croissant uh, and the smallest is strawberry. So I will put strawberry somewhere here. So we keep the space for the strawberry. And here will be our croissant, uh, which is coming forward to us. And here will be our cup of coffee. So actually it's very simple shapes we have here. And um, it will be, um, easy to draw so if you are a beginner and just looking to start with soft pastels it will be ideal um, uh, lesson for you to start and try your skills and to develop um, your skills and get familiar with soft pastels so guys and now we start I will be actually starting with croissant as it's the closest one, but uh, be aware that I will be always holding my hand a little bit light and not to smash everything. So just um, be careful. And if you are working with um, just uh, pencils or maybe you are working with oil pastels, then it will be much easier for you. I'm just drawing some kind of like tray or something where the croissant is laying i'm just keeping it in mind i'm not going here into much details but just giving an idea of it as um we already like have begun and i'm looking uh, on the time so not to go for so many details and just to enjoy the drawing and not to make it boring and just get our joy and happiness from what we are creating today. So I'm drawing a croissant and a croissant is obviously, I would say it's um, like drawing a cylinder, but 
even maybe with the shape of cone. So I'm just giving a slightly shape here, just roughly. Um, and then what I will be doing now, I'm going from left to right and drawing the circles. And they will be going bigger and bigger. So it's actually I'm creating the structure of our crosser. And I know that maybe some kids are joining us so they can repeat the same movements. It's very actually simple. We're just drawing this almost semicircles, I would say. So it's just a shape of cross. And you see, we have already like created it. And here I have this. Actually, I have a tour here. My friend brought it to me. So you see that this is like this kind of shape. So we actually can be happy with our croissant now. And now we'll go for our coffee. So coffee, we look from a little bit of top so we can see almost all the circle, but a little bit squished circle. So you also can help yourself with the lines like this. So, and draw in your cup of coffee. If it's not perfect, don't worry. It's even will give uh, more character and um, it will show the movement and the structure and it will be perfect so even i'm drawing for the second time it's now it's still different it won't be the same uh, but you will see my hand probably and recognize the style uh, but it will be still different so don't worry if your drawing is not the same as mine it's absolutely fine so and we are drawing here a cup of coffee. You can make it a little bit big or small. It's absolutely great. And the smallest one here will be our strawberry. So you see how we are building all around this triangle. It's a great way to build perfect composition. So now I'm drawing a strawberry. So I'm actually having two strawberries here. One is very, I would say, rough um, example of a strawberry, very simple. We'll make it later. And here we can see closer to us the strawberry into more details, but it's still not too much details in it because it's pretty far away from us. Croissant is coming forward. So we are drawing this kind of shape. It's a little bit like corn, I would say, but we can't see the whole strawberry. So it's a little bit behind our cup of coffee. Or maybe you will decide that it would be a cup of tea. It's great. If you don't drink coffee, that it, then it can be tea. Or maybe even something else. So and now I have drawn a stem and going for the leaves. And I, I will draw just four. You can make three, whatever you wish. So we just making an idea just to keep it easy for us to draw with the chalks because with pencils we can go into more details and if you are drawing with pencils then you can draw everything very detailed but probably you will need more time for drawing it into much details i'm not into much details so i will be just drawing with chalks and maybe helping myself with a little bit of pencils so i'm using just rubber uh, if you, you wish you can also use but if you want use a rubber then we will just use our chalks and everything would be visible so don't worry about this it's absolutely fine if you have some more lines so i will start with mm, with coffee and strawberry because they are uh, a little bit on the background and then i will go for croissant because in order not to smash everything with my hand so i'm always keeping in mind how to keep the picture fresh. If you are using a fixative, then you probably can fix the picture during the process in the middle, but it, it can make it more darker. So I'm not using it uh, for this picture. So I will go with brown, I have some chalks here, with brown, yeah, with brown chalk now. So we will use it, as you can see, the darkest one here and a light will be dropping in our drink. So it will be a lighter brown here. So I'm also keeping in mind that my light goes from left to 
right? So I will have shadows dropping on the right side and lights coming from the left. So it's all about light and shadows actually. So I'm using this side of chalk and just doing it very simply in a very simple way. But you will see how during the drawing you will get used to the chalks and you will actually enjoy the drawing and um, here we go you can use your fingers if you wish if you are you don't like to use your fingers then you can uh, use a stick a piece of paper and just to smash it around a little bit so and a lighter one brown i'm using here and actually we also can drop a little bit of light here then so i'm just walk a little harder into paper so i'm trying to put the pigment into the paper actually so just to make this connection but you can also leave it like this and use the strokes and it will give this character and structure to the picture which is absolutely looks also amazing and fantastic so just a little bit of reflection you can add here I actually haven't added more flat here but you can drop a bit of reflection so the cup is actually white but it has strong shadows here so I will start drawing with a light purple color not white so you can use light gray or right pur light purple if you have just to make the main color and then we'll add white and gray blue i'm using here so we are drawing our cup here and we keep in mind like giving an idea that we have a tray here so i will be drawing lines but if you don't want then you can continue your cup of coffee and just finish it if your croissant is lying just maybe on the table why not so and if you wish you can go into more details than you use pencils but i prefer to work with actually with um, the chalk so i'm literally enjoying the process and this is absolutely fantastic feeling especially for beginners i would say it's a great medium to use just to get familiar with um, your chalks and colors and then you can go maybe into oil or acrylic drawing or maybe you will decide to go for watercolors why not but it's re really a great medium to use so i will just color it a bit and what i'm doing now i'm just dropping lights so my lights are going here so i will see actually a bright light here and here will be the shadows dropping in this part of your cup of coffee and i hope that soon we will be able to meet with you all guys <laughs> for a cup of coffee with our friends and um, now we just it's a matter of time when it would be possible but hopefully we are almost there so it's a great way to escape for a while to go for a drawing and i usually grab some drink with me so we uh, turn on the music so hopefully you also enjoy the process and let me know if i am too fast then i will give you time to and wait so we are almost done with our cup here you see and um, of course you can go into as many details and to make it as realistic as you wish but here we are working mainly with the lights and shadows so we are creating this mood and you not always have to go into a very realistic drawing to create the mood and to give this atmosphere of welcoming <laughs> which usually we have 
uh, during a cup of coffee or tea, meeting with friends, chatting, relaxing. And I think that all of us are missing these times now. So I came up with this idea of drawing and creating this mood with the painting. So guys, and now we'll go to the strawberry and we can also come back later to the cup of coffee and to add some details. But now I, I would say that it, it's pretty, looks pretty good. And um, strawberry, I will start with a bright red color. I'm just going from brighter to darker because my shadow will be going here. So I will use the darker red. You can you also use some you see the difference of color. So this is the brightest and this is the darkest. And you almost also can use here some brown. And here we go. So we are just shading and walking in. We are not like going into much details here. So just shading a little bit, bringing the color. I'm not going to draw this strawberry into too much details, but I will just want to show this fresh fruit uh, f uh, line behind my cup. So I just want to bring an idea that this is a strawberry. It actually can be already the strawberry. So it's actually the strawberry already. And I will just, just seeing that the cup is too bright. Yeah, like this. So I'm going some strokes here. Walking all around the paintings like artists are walking, they usually do go in here and there and everywhere, never stopping on something, uh, on one thing. So that's it, the strawberry is almost ready, <laughs> guys. So we will just use the brightest green here for the stem and for the leaves. The lightest leaves will be on the upper side and on the down side I will use a dark green and actually you can go here with your pencils because it will be a little bit easy to go into details. I will just take probably some um, pencils and some green ones. So I will add some shadows here as this leaves will be actually in to the shadows and you see what I'm keeping in mind that the from the light goes from left to right so I always keep it in mind and adding some shadows on the right part of part of the drawing and you can use here even grace and even some blue, why not? So I'm trying to incorporate more colors here. That's it. And probably I will drop a bit of shadow here and here and shadow here as well. And now we will have to drop a light so dropping a light you can use a light yellow or a light green here not actually any need to go for the white one so you just drop it here and some shadows it's actually all about light and shadows yeah so and you of course can go into more details but now we will go to the strawberry itself and can come back to add some details to our um, leaves but now we'll just leave it and go forward so we are not stick to any particular because it's far away and we can't actually see and we have the whole permission not to go into much details because we will work harder on our croissant to go with details to show the lights and shadows and on strawberry we will be doing it very easily so I'm just draw, drawing this seeds here or whatever it's called so it's just a dots actually I'm coming around and now I will drop shadows more shadows here and go with light on the top of the strawberry.
and you will see how it's adding actually uh, the volume while you are dropping shadows and lights you will see you add um, you actually add, add the 3d volume even doing it without a lot of details and this is what i really love about this technique because it gives you an idea of what you are creating and you bring the mood to a drawing and it's absolutely fantastic hope you're enjoying it guys well it's need a little bit of practice but with time goes um, as small as you practice and it's very comes very natural to you and you are really beginning to you starting <laughs> to enjoy the process and you really go into the world of creation so now i'm drawing these lights but you see what i'm drawing like a circle surround uh, maybe here as well so we are drawing these light drops and not too much like we are not going so many but just a few of them would be absolutely enough to give an idea of strawberry so it's already you see the magic <laughs> it's already 3d it's already 3d drawn it's very easy and you will agree with me that it doesn't matter with what material you are drawing when you know all these tricks and you don't mind to draw with acrylic painting with oil painting um, with pastels so it doesn't much matter but it depends on what you prefer so I really love soft pastels I really enjoy this medium and my most favorite probably would be still or not heaven, it would be still um, oil painting it's really but it's much harder to show it on YouTube I would say it will take more time or gaps with drawing while um, soft pastel you see all the process from the beginning to the end and this is absolutely fantastic like we can draw together and this is great time to spend it's great time to spend and get a picture ready and then frame it and show to your family and friends this is absolutely fantastic isn't it guys so i hope you have finished with the strawberry at some lights and shadows and you have seen that i wasn't painting too much details here but it's already beautiful right so i probably will shadow while waiting for you guys i will just add some shadows here to my coffee because my pencils have not gone into the paper here so i'll just mix it up and you can show the strokes here it will also create this beautiful structure for the painting and now we are going to croissant so it's a line on the tray i have given an idea hope you are there that it's a tray here so i'm just roughly showing it just few lines i won't be working hard on on the details maybe it goes somewhere there i don't know maybe it's further so for me it doesn't matter then we will go create this background and work uh, with lights and shadows also but now we will go for our uh, croissant so i'm starting uh, with the brown oh, also with the medium medium this brown so i'm just will select the color yeah it's pretty good like it's pretty good color um, i would say orange orange brown for our croissant so uh, we'll just not going on to the contouring or to going outlining everything no we just will be drawing with some lines like this and we will try to show its shape with the strokes so actually what you will be seeing now that i'm drawing the show strokes like this you see so i'm what i'm trying to do is to create with my strokes this shape of croissant so I'm um, just drawing some main strokes and then we will mix up with lighter ones and darker ones that's it it's almost there so it's very 
easy in one way, but another way, it's a tip which helps you to create a volume of what you are drawing. So isn't it fantastic? It's a magic here. And here we go. So <laughs> almost we can live like this and it will be a fantastic drawing as well. So, but we will go into more details and just create our croissant to make uh, what we would be getting here while working with lights and shadows. We will get this volume and we will also get the feeling of how delicious is our croissant. And this is, in my opinion, the most important when you are drawing some kind of food. You want to show that it's really delicious. It's really yummy. <laughs> Okay, guys, and just clean my hands and we'll go with lighter brown. Yeah, with lighter brown, it's almost like ochre I'm using here. So I will just also will be moving the strokes and just add lighter ones and mix it. And you can Use sometimes your finger just to mix um, and uh, it mustn't be all very, very detailed. So don't worry if it's a little bit not perfect, nothing is perfect. So it's absolutely fine, but you already see how is our croissant is coming around. So we're almost baking it. <laughs> We're baking our croissant on paper. So we are baking croissant on paper and creating it with strokes going all around its shape. So easy and beautiful. And it's very meditative and really relaxing. So I hope well, we are on time, but you will still feel this feeling of um, enjoyment. <laughs> and now we will go for the lighter yellow. And all will, uh, I will be dropping some lights on our croissant now. So you will see, I will add this lights here and here, just to give an idea. And then I will go lighter here because when you bake croissant, it's not always like only brown or light. It's uh, not even so. And what we are going to show here that some parts of croissant are lighter and some are a little bit burned. So we'll add a little bit brown here as well and from this side we will go more uh, with more dark brown i would say so i will be now mixing all around with dark and lights so follow my lines and i'll, I'll be free just to create your own shapes so we are now adding this again going following the shape this dark lines so and you see just now have a look and see that we are already getting this volume it's actually what we were willing to get this volume of a real croissant so that's it, obviously, and we are going all around the shape, shape and we will get it almost ready. So just I, I will leave it with strokes. You can smooth it if you would like to add some more realistic look. But remember to go f with the shadows from. The bottom of croissant so and you can add always you can add more lights here and it will create more illusion the illusion of light and even a little bit 
orange you can add here so it will make it look even more yummy and some strokes here yeah that's it so I will burn this up just this part will be more burned yeah and this part I will leave in light and then go with dark part here yeah and this part is going into darkness so I have all reasons to leave it without too much details and this just shade it all around you see we almost baked our croissant so from the bottom I'm adding some strokes as well pretty good and you can always turn your pictures just to have a look how it looks so it's very useful tip one of the artists taught me to use it really help you to have a look from have a look from another point of view it's always useful to have some other opinion <laughs> yeah this is fantastic guys look it's already yummy it's already like very very yummy i will just drop a few lights more lights just because i want really just to add some magic to it i know guys some of you love to add some magic <laughs> i love and this um why not like look it's brilliant yeah and i will also drop on the leaves some lights in here and here as well so and i'm not using white but you can drop a little bit of white only just few drops of white somewhere eventually just to make it look even brighter and you can play with the colors here and it's very relaxing so it's I can go into more details right now but I will just go for the background just to show you how to create this background and drop some shadows so uh, now we will drop shadows and then work with background I will use for the shadows this gray blue color you can use just purple or blue or gray gray would work absolutely fantastic and you can go with this strokes or just walk with your chalk just eventually rolling it around and we have already dropped shadows from strawberry and from croissant it's already grounded it so we grounded our subjects here and now um, you can double check if you are happy with everything and see if you want to show this line for your tray or where your croissant is lying and you just don't draw this line just trying to shade it and to play all around like this like you are dancing on the paper so that's it and now you can use lighter chalks for creating this artistic look uh, but before this we will add one more strawberry so I will give you just an idea how to do this I would say like we are dropping a shadow of strawberry we just keep uh, trying to keep the shape of it but we are not going into any details so we just give our viewer an idea that probably another strawberry is lying there but it's very abstract very abstract 
strawberry here. And this creates even more contrast with our real strawberry and it's creating some interest to our viewer. So just to separate this. And now I will just use some other colors like light beige and you can use grays and blues. It depends on what colors you like. So and I will go for light blue here. It's actually I'm creating a rough idea of a tray here, also very abstract. So that's it. I'll and still yeah, just separate it. I love it. It looks great. And now I will be using lighter colors here. So I will go for yellow and maybe a little bit ochre. So just rolling my chalks all around. And you can be very creative here. But we are creating these backgrounds. Or you can always just leave it in one color. So. And I will drop some lights here and mix around. And it's pretty, I would say, everything. Well, I was playing with the tray, so I will go into a few lines here to show that it's a tray. I will use gray here, even darker, like this, just to separate. Yeah, need just to separate it. Yeah, it's just giving an idea that probably it was a tray here. Yeah, and if you wish, you can go and finish your tray here. But I will just leave it like this because I'm pretty, pretty happy with the drawing. So just drop maybe a few strokes here. Yeah, and we're almost done. So. I hope you enjoy the process and I hope that you really love drawing with you as much as I love drawing with you. My friends, don't forget to sh show me your drawings you know, that I can also put them on my Instagram and you can see what others have created. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. And I really hope you enjoy this time and get beautiful pictures. So I will just finish and add some few details here. You can play even more with it. It's very like... It's much about playing, not actually about going into many details. And it creates this mood and I really love this picture even more than the first time so more you more you draw more you practice you become better and better so join me for my next live stream don't forget to turn on and to subscribe on my youtube channel to get notifications about the upcoming live streams guys and I hope you enjoy drawing with us today guys and I really enjoy drawing with you I'm wishing you a beautiful beautiful evening and look what we have got today and actually I have two pictures the first I prepared at the beginning and the second one which is actually we have created even more beautiful look today I hope you enjoyed drawing with me. I am wishing you a beautiful, beautiful evening. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to support me. And I'm looking forward to see you guys. Really love you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful evening. 
बाय बाय